Hi and welcome to this video. Now obviously from the thumbnail and the title I'm going to be replacing the gearbox uh, drive shaft oil seal uh, which is quite a common thing on these cars. Now if you're here uh, because you have the same issue and you just want to get to you know, see the, how you actually do it uh, I will put a chapter on the uh, search bar down here somewhere and you can skip straight to it. For those that are interested in the yeah, me, just me waffling on for a little bit, um, you know, you can stick with me. So yeah, basically since um, I bought this car, I've had a small leak under the car every time I've been out in it. Uh, I realised it was from the drive shaft. I uh, didn't really pay much attention to it and obviously it just all the oil's been splattered around the, the gearbox. I'll put a little video in now that I took the other day, as you can see, yeah, how messy it got. So obviously you'll have seen, for those that do follow, I did do a video um, a few weeks ago of me topping up the gearbox oil because obviously you might just say that this is a waste of time since I'm doing this now but obviously the last show that I did was some distance away um, you know, down the motorway a fair bit and <clears throat> I wasn't, I know I should have done it sooner but I wanted to make sure that the gearbox wasn't going to dry up and cause any damage so the plan is um, I'm going to tilt the car or jack it up on one side uh, that way when the drive shaft comes out some of the oil fingers crossed uh, will stay in because obviously it's quite new now I only managed to get uh, two one litre bottles of gearbox oil uh, so hopefully that'll be enough if not it'll be enough to at least test the car you know, make sure it's not going to leak and then put another third in at a later date because obviously this car uh, hopefully will be sown after I've done this that's why I want to do this now as opposed to over the winter. Now I'll just say that um, obviously it is getting quite late at the moment now it is nearly quarter to nine as it's the only time I have at the moment to do this job so I may be doing this whole job over two or three days yet I don't know we'll see how easy the job goes uh, so yeah let's get to it. For those that have skipped up to this point um, like I say I accept no responsibility for doing yours I wouldn't say this is a guide uh, it's just me having a go doing this job and hopefully it gives you an insight on how to do it and hopefully everything goes well. So let's get to it, let's uh, jack the car up on the passenger side and make a start. Okay so I've now got the car jacked up safely on one side, uh, two axle stands, one here one on the uh, gearbox support and a jack just on this bit as well so it's not going anywhere. So I've loosened these nuts off and now I can take the wheel off. Okay, so now I've put some light in there, try and get a good view. You can see all the oil that's recently uh, fell out because I did actually pressure wash this bit. So, yeah, lovely. So the seal obviously needs to go in there. Um, I know some people have said to literally just take this wheel off, undo uh, this pinch bolt under here and then pull this out. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to put any tension on the drive shaft so I'm going to do this properly. So what I'm going to do I think is undo this pinch, this um, ball nut here. Um, hopefully that will give me, I shouldn't need to undo uh, these ones but I should be able to then move this uh, hub out of the way. Oh not forgetting, I need to undo this one as well. Um, then I should be able to move out of the way. And then try and get a pry bar in there to get it out. So yeah, fun. So I think for now, the first thing I'm going to do is see if I can get this undone. So first thing I'm going to do is see if I can get a screwdriver in there to pinch that back out. And then once that's unpinched, I should be able to get a socket around there and undo this. So I say this is not a guy, this is just me doing it and already I made a mistake on the first hurdle which was undoing the hub nut. Now I put the car back on the floor, um, yeah, put the wheel back on obviously and basically I had to take the loose and the nut which I have done now. Now what I did before I put the wheel back on is, off the camera, you can see on that nut, although I've made a bit of a mess, I have to buy a new one, uh, push the bit of metal up and then with the wheel back on, what I do with one hand is put this bit, try and hold it, Put this big um, socket through there like that 
and undo the nut, which is, as you can see now, not lined up because it's just loose, been loosened a little bit. As I say, uh, I might have to you know, buy another one of these because I don't really want to use that and hopefully I'm going to check but I've not damaged the drive shaft because it would be a real pain if I did. So yeah, with this now um, I can get a socket on and undo that. Ok so I will be putting this back on in a second just because I don't want to leave it off. But uh, yeah, I think I'm okay with that. I've not damaged the drive shaft in any way, which is good. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is undo this pinch bolt. Now, obviously these are newish, a year or two old lower arms, so I'm hoping uh, these shouldn't be too bad. So obviously try and undo this without catching the rubber. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to replace that lower arm if I do that, which I don't want to. Two hours later. Okay, so I've got the bolt out. <coughs> it was a bit of a, a pain because the thread stripped. So when it went on, it didn't go on properly. Um, so now that's out, we should be able to put a bar in there and push this out. Two hours later. When the nut came out, I couldn't get the lower arm shifted for nothing. It was just stuck in there. So it's now there. Um, it's all in good condition, it's fine, nothing split. Um, but like I say, I just need another nut for that. So at the moment, um, yeah, it's <laughs> taking a lot longer than I thought, but that's loose, ready to come off uh, for next time. Uh, I've got lots of you know, area to work with now that's disappeared. So once that nut comes off, I can move the hub out of the way, hopefully this area over here. Uh, and then I can hopefully get this bit out. So, yeah. So, a bit knackered now. Uh, obviously, for you, next time I do this will be the next few seconds, but uh, yeah, I'll go in and get a shower for now. Okay, so back again. This is uh, a day or so later because uh, I was busy yesterday. Um, <clears throat> I have got a pinch bolt on order and I'm hoping uh, I can get a new um, you know, hub nut as well. Just because, as I say, this one's okay, but it's always best to put a new one on. So today, uh, at the very least, I'd like to be able to move this out of the way, um, pull the drive shaft out and try and catch as much oil as I can in there. Now the reason why I'm not using a, a cleaner bucket to put the oil back in, because I replaced it obviously a month or so ago, is obviously um, if it goes into a bucket I don't want it picking up any you know, contaminants that you know, I'd be in potentially putting back into the gearbox so I'd rather put all new in and have that not to worry about so that's the reason why so right let's uh, make a start and see if I can move this up out of the way okay so I can't actually separate the drive shaft from the hub that's seized on as well uh, I don't want to do any damage to the thread, so what I'm going to do is uh, just try and pull or separate the dry shaft from the gearbox side and try and swing the whole thing, which I probably should have done that in the first place, but again, you know, uh, I haven't done this before, so yeah, it's just one of those things. <clears throat> so yeah, let's uh, have a go at doing that side. Okay, so it's taken me about 40 minutes of whacking it and trying to get it sorted, but it's now uh, pulled out a little bit. You can see what I did was use this tool, put that on there, lean it against that and try and hit the hit the handle uh, as hard as I can and it's eventually popped out. So now, move this light out there, should be able to pull this out of the gearbox and catch any oil that comes out. Oh yes, messy. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
Let all that drain out. So I'm just going to cut the video there. Um, a lot's happened since uh, I tried to take that drive shaft out. Now I just thought I'd run down and basically update you with what's happened. Now the last clip that you saw is I tried to get the uh, the other splines of the drive shaft from the gearbox, and obviously I didn't want to pull the, the hub out um, because I didn't want to damage the yeah I didn't want to damage anything you know on the suspension you know the top mounts or anything like that. So basically I couldn't uh, remove a drive shaft without getting it out from the hub. So you saw me hit it a few times um, you know, earlier with the, the hammer. Yeah, it wasn't budging one bit. Um, so after I basically tried hitting it again um, <clears throat> you know, with the, the nut on the end, um, I tried the um, you know, tried the chisel you know, it goes in the hole in the centre of the drive shaft. That didn't work. Uh, ran out of ideas, got pretty annoyed with it. Uh, used a slightly large hammer to hit it as hard as I could, you know, thinking that I'd work it loose, you know, lots of D40, that type of thing. What I didn't notice, or failed to notice, is I hit it that hard, <clears throat> somehow, don't ask me how, the hub knot actually split and pushed backwards, uh, rounding off the thread of the drive shaft. It also mushroomed the, the end of the drive shaft, uh, so basically, yeah, I made a mess. Uh, so I was kind of stuck. So what I've done, or what I did next, is I disconnected the hub from the strut and everything else. So I basically had the hub and the drive shaft, which I'll just put a photo in here. Uh, yeah, so you know, tried every which way possible, could not get it to shift. Um, it was well and truly stuck. So <clears throat> decided to try and uh, find the second hand one. Couldn't find one anywhere. Um, so like one guy had one. Uh, quite expensive just for the hub itself. And there's a drive shaft on top. Um, a few people said just to basically you know, put it back in, put a new nut on if I could. Wasn't exactly going to go anywhere, but I want to do this properly. So I took it to a garage, they couldn't do it. Tried to take it to a second garage. And they did actually manage to break it free. So I'm at the point now where the shaft is moving within the hub, uh, but obviously the mushroom end, you know, it's still there. So uh, I do need to try and sort that out. Once that's out, uh, I can then try and may as well do it while I'm doing this, get a new bearing for the hub, you know, and do a proper job. Um, um, probably by the time you've watched this, but on Sunday, uh, there's a car show which I'm going to do a video for photos. Um, got a friend who's bringing me some parts. So as mentioned, I've got the uh, pinch bolt for the ball joint. I have a new hub nut. And rather than getting a whole drive shaft, because I don't need the full drive shaft, I've <clears throat> just got the end of the you know the CV joint. So I'll, hopefully I can disconnect mine, put that one on, you know, new grease and everything, and that comes to the hub nut. So then we should be okay. Uh, but obviously in the meantime, as I say, once that's all out and done, I can take the hub and get a new bearing pressed in. So that's where I'm at at the moment. Um, so yeah, a bit of a, bit of a pain in the backside. Um, that's the way things go when you deal with the old cars, you know, expect the unexpected. So yeah, um, as I say, this is part one. Uh, hopefully part two will be, hopefully at some point when I get all this sorted. Um, hopefully we'll have the bits by then, I'll have a new bearing in, and then hopefully we can put it all back together. Oh, Tyler, I've got track one ends as well. Cause then, uh, so there's those to do, uh, and anything else that I find in the meantime. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video, I know it's been a bit of a long one. Uh, but yeah, I uh, hope you join me soon for the second one.